I have a belief that leaders are not only born, but they are also made. South Africa needs a generation of people who have the values, the ethics, the determination, a cadre of young, caring leaders who will produce a society of people who actually look out for each other. All over the world, all women are beautiful. The Salamba building its permanent residency here at Nairox. It speaks into growth. It speaks into the reason why this program works. In my era, the ladies, they believe that they can't do anything. They can just go do the cleaning and stuff like that. Thinking about when we build the academy residency from the ground up, how will that impact the community? Today, they've got a lot of different skills. They can even build their own home. When it started, this excitement came up in me. I knew that this space had potential. <laughs> This is not a handout, this is the completely opposite. This is the way we should build all buildings so that we can benefit the community. It will help them to dream bigger. This is amazing. If a young person comes here, I think it's gonna open doors. This building was made with what we call ramp earth. That's raw material. It resembles nature. It is quiet. It is refreshing. The view is beautiful. A place with a panorama of possibilities. It will definitely bring in them time to appreciate something out of the ordinary. The limits that they had be mentally is then removed. It's a good feeling to know that you can actually dream beyond circumstances. That's what makes them feel important. In this quietness, I get a space to reflect. It's a specialized environment where they can be treated with dignity and respect. And that's what gives them the belief that they can become leaders. Good morning. I find the Colombo Initiative important because it recognizes the need for leadership. It offers the opportunity to, to hone skills. I wanted to, to, to belong somewhere. This resulted in me befriending you know, people that were popular in the school, even if they did bad stuff. The young people that we work with, they come from difficult circumstances. I was a reserved person. I, was, uh, I lacked confidence. He was a very naughty at school and then came to the program. He discovered the potential and he discovered some talents as well. Those talents that he uses to serve others. So I had 26% for mathematics, but by the time I got to metric, it turned actually to 80%. What he has done, it's amazing. When I got back to my school, I just wanted to change whatever that I was doing because I felt like it was my responsibility as a learner, not the responsibility of an educator to do right in the school. When I see young people that came to the academy like Senolo, striving and becoming what he wants in life, it's fulfilling. Take me by the hand and lead me down the road. Being part of this program has helped me to find my voice, trust my voice, and believe that my voice can impact people's lives. Young people are necessary to encourage other young people. What's consistent is that there's a sense of self-realization. We activate their potential. We make them realize their talents yeah. and what is possible. <laughs> it's a self-belief that says, 
I can make a difference, I want to make a difference. There's a sense of seeing yourself as part of something in the world. And so the skills transfer between peers is perhaps the greatest opportunity that Colombo can offer. The transformation that will happen is exactly a reflection of this building. Raw material made into something beautiful. You find that starting at the cradle with young people means that there are opportunities, it's limitless. It's like I come on not knowing what to expect, but I leave here a transformed young leader who is now driven by passion, who is building on my character and who knows where I'm going in life. It's going to be interesting just to see young people leave in the next 10 years or so and say, I was in a place that, that freed my mind. 